Luton Town made headlines last year with their fairy tale promotion from the Championship up to the Premier League. However, many people weren't focused solely on the football, but also on their stadium. Kenilworth Road has been home to Luton since 1905. It's a unique ground to say the least, featuring an away end in between houses, wooden stands and an imperfect structure. Some people, including myself, think that this is what makes these types of grounds so good. It's, you know, imperfectness, it's uniqueness. However, some people fairly criticised it and it seems that Luton Town understand this too. As a result, the club are now looking to move to a new modern stadium on a piece of unused land called Power Court. It's under two miles away from where Kenilworth Road is sat and is just round the corner from Luton Railway Station so there's no sort of issues with its location as there's nothing going on right now with the land it's going to be built on, it's got good travel links and of course it's still in Luton Town Centre. In terms of what this stadium has to offer, well first of all it's going to have an increased capacity of 23,000 which is almost double of what Kenilworth Road has which is in my opinion a really good thing because of course last season when they were in the Premier League they faced several issues uh, when it came to things like tickets because every game seemed to sell out, tourists which of course aren't great but you do get them when you're in the top flight of football couldn't get tickets either because of the fact that games are selling out so quickly uh, and so this increased capacity will help them a lot in terms of making that little bit more uh, revenue. Now the initial plans only set the capacity at 17,500 but according to CEO Gary Sweet the extra income from being in the Premier League last season has allowed for this increase. The total costs add up to around £100 million. Now plans for this stadium have been in the works for some time uh, with the initial set of plans submitted and passed by Luton Council all the way back five years ago in 2019. These initial plans included things like up to 1200 homes and community leisure and entertainment features alongside the football stadium. Power Court has been designed by and architects who have plenty of experience in this field helping with other stadiums like Brentford's Griffin Park, Barnet's The Hive and Charlton's The Valley, several of which I visited and really do think these grounds are built to high standards so hopefully Power Court is going to be the same. As usual there are a couple of issues surrounding uh, when this stadium will be built and you know how easy it will be to do. One of the main ones being the River Lee which flows through the area. Uh, now this was initially meant to flow underneath the stadium, they wanted to do that but because of things like consultations and surveys which have happened recently it's been found that this is not possible. So a major task, probably the biggest thing of this stadium build uh, is that they're going to have to reroute the river around the power court site in order to have this stadium built. But it should be possible, it should take place and the stadium hopefully still will go ahead. So there we go, that will be Luton Town's new home stadium in around three years time or so. Let me know what you thought of it down below in the comment section and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.